Drop your weapon. Drop your weapon. Pow, pow. Drop your weapon. New tonight, a man is dead after being shot by Akron police. Witnesses say the man was carrying an assault rifle when he was gunned down. Megan, Megan Hickey is live in Akron for us right now with what happened tonight. Megan? As you can see, the BCI has been called in to investigate this officer-involved shooting. That officer has been placed on paid administrative leave while they investigate this case. Kathy Trimble was tending to her father's memorial in this prayer garden when she says she witnessed a fight. I know something bad about to happen, so I was like, oh no, I better get out of here. Then all of a sudden, the police rolled up. Akron police told me they got a call about a fight between two men. A 61-year-old suspect allegedly slammed his neighbor's arm in a car door. Akron police tell me two officers arrived on the scene and approached the man. He started walking away, walking towards a van that was parked in the parking lot. According to police and witnesses, the man reached for an assault rifle in the car. An officer told him to drop his weapon like three or four times. But police say he continued to reach for it. At that point, the officer had nothing else to do but to fire shots at the suspect. Only one officer fired shots. I was crawling my hands and knees through the house because I thought I didn't know which way the bullets were flying because bullets, you know, don't have names. The suspect was hit in the torso and later died of his injuries. The BCI is now handling this investigation into the moments leading up to the fatal shooting. While witnesses like Trimble are weighing in on whether they believe the shots were justified. This time it wasn't even officer's fault. He didn't have no choice. The man lived in this apartment behind me. Akron police are not identifying him or the officer involved tonight. Live in Akron, Megan Hickey, News Channel 5.